Hey guys, what is up? It's Card Shuffler 99 here today. I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool trick, but before we get into it, credit to a million card tricks for this really cool trick. Also, if you guys are interested in getting some free gift cards, all you have to do is click the link in the description for free my apps. You guys can click that link, download free apps, and get free gift cards. Also, you're doing an $80 Amazon gift card giveaway in August if you want to be entered. All you have to do is like this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, notifications have to be on, and you have to comment one time on one video, what do you like about our channel or that specific video, and you will be entered. We will announce the winners on the last day of August. Now, Adam, before this trick even starts, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a prediction for the future. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead, set this up right now. One more second, guys. Here we go. Uh, all right. So got my predictions. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm just, just watch here. I'm going to take three cards from this pile. Just going to place it in random places, maybe a little farther down this time. And we're going to take one more card, just like that. Perfect. Now, you'll see why I did that a little bit later into the trick. So over here, Adam, I have two jokers. All right, you. All right, we're going to take one joker. We're going to place it on top. We're going to take the second joker, and we're going to place it on the bottom. Now, Adam, over here, all right, I want you to lift up on this pile wherever you'd like. Go ahead. Right there. And place that on top of the joker, and we'll take the rest of the cards, and we'll place it under the joker like that. Now, I need you to select three cards in between the two jokers. So go ahead. You can do that right now. It doesn't matter which three you select. Perfect. Fine by me. Now, Adam, go ahead. Take a look at those selections. Do you notice anything similar about those selections? They're all red. Yes. Yes. Man, I'm good at this. <laughs> you, you, you really are. So, Adam, let's go ahead and show you. Now, it's very interesting that you did that because in the beginning of the trick, what I did was I actually separated the cards into black and red. And I actually made three predictions, if you remember. I took three cards, and I actually took three red cards and put them into the black pile. And if you can, you, can, you can see here, we put the jokers around the black pile. You can see that all the red cards just happen to be on the outside of the two jokers, which means that you selected the only three cards in between the two jokers. All right, guys, let's learn how to do the uh, trick. So let's get right into the tutorial here. So this is how we're going to start. So basically, guys, um, when you're setting up the uh, deck, for, first, if you want the spectator to shuffle the deck, it's actually fine. They can shuffle it. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. I'll actually shuffle it right now. It doesn't really matter. You give it some cuts, whatever. It really doesn't matter. You go ahead, shuffle the deck. Now, when you do shuffle the deck, it does take a little bit more time to set it up, and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up if you do shuffle the deck. Now, I find it easier just not to shuffle the deck because you're already going to have the thing set up, but... It doesn't matter because you're actually going to tell the spectator you're setting up the deck. Now the jokers, just leave them off to the side for now, face down. You tell them, you know, look at them a little bit later. All right. So let's learn how to do this. So you're going to go through and you're going to take out all the red cards just like this. All right. Now when you're, or black cards, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to do red cards for the tutorial. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, you're going to keep going. Don't let them see this. You know, you're, you're, gonna, you're not going to let them see this. You're going to look for a group of three red cards. When you find this, you're going to go ahead and bring that to the top just like that. All right? Sometimes there won't be three red cards, and I'll show you guys what to do later. So go ahead, take out all the red cards except three, and you're going to leave them at the top. I think there we have four red cards, actually. But, yeah, go ahead, take out all the red cards just like this. All right, go through the deck. You're going to let them know I'm actually going to be making a prediction for the future. All right. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be leaving. All right, guys. You're going to be leaving three red cards on top of the black cards just like that. Now, the rest of the red cards are actually uh, normal, so you guys don't have to worry about that. So, yeah. So, these cards, they're all red. And then these cards are all black plus... The uh, three red cards that you guys controlled. So once again, this is the setup. Literally, this is what you guys are doing. So you're going through. You have the three red cards here. Remember, not more than three. Now, if you guys do mess up, you guys can just look through. Just try to see if you messed up anywhere. And 
just make the correction. All right, but I'm gonna go through. Red cards are normal. All right, black cards. You have all the black cards and then three red cards just like that. Now, when you're doing this, you can go ahead and say, spectator, you go ahead and inspect the jokers. They are normal. Nothing special about them. They can inspect them while you're doing this. You know, keep them a little bit busy doing the trick so they don't get you know too bored. So you're gonna get. You're gonna continue. All right. Once you make the uh, piles and you separate them, the, pi the uh, pile that has the three other cards on top, like three red cards, right? you're going to place those into the other pile. You're going to say, we're going to take three cards from this pile, and we're going to place them somewhere into the other pile. It doesn't matter where you place them at all, because what you're doing is you're actually just taking three red cards, and you're just putting them into a random place in the red pile. So if you didn't do that, Let's say you didn't put the three cards on top, you, you would actually be placing black cards into the red pile, and that really wouldn't be working. So you do need the three red cards on here. You're going to take these cards, and you're going to place them in the random places, just like that. It doesn't matter where they go. All right. And you can even have the uh, spectator actually shuffle these piles after you do that, because it, doesn't, it actually doesn't even matter anymore. So they can actually shuffle the cards after you did that. Right, from here, you guys can continue. Now, whichever, let's say you guys switch the colors, all right, just just do what I'm doing right now. Whichever pile you took the three cards and then you put it into the other pile, that's where you're going to put the jokers on top and bottom. So I took three cards from here, the three red cards, and put them into this pile. So I'm going to take the joker, place one joker on top, one joker on the bottom. You can actually have the spectator do this. You can just tell them to do this. So then you can have them lift up anywhere. Place some half the card around half, all right. Half the cards on top, half the cards on bottom, just like that, all right. And you're good. So, from here, this is what you're gonna do, guys. You're gonna have them select three cards in between the two jokers. So, it actually has to be in between the two jokers. If they select a card outside the jokers, it will not work. So it doesn't matter which three they select. It can be any random three, and as long as you did the setup right and everything like that, they will all be red so while they are looking at their three selections and you're gonna be talking to them you're gonna so you're gonna say go ahead look at your three selections you're gonna be doing something called the turnover pass now if you guys are not experienced all right if you're not all you can do is just cut the deck like that all right it's fine but it's very important that you guys all right take around half the deck when you're cutting it around half the deck all right pass the first joker and then you guys cut it now if you guys want to do the turnover pass, which I find a little bit better, because it's hidden, you know, you're not just cutting the deck in the wide open just like that, right? It's uh, very simple. So I'm going to start off with just showing you guys how to do it with two cards, all right? So here's how you're going to do it. So this is, this is the top half, and this is the bottom half. What you're going to do is with the bottom half, all you're doing is that. You're taking the bottom half, and you're just curling it up like that while the top half stick covers this move so make sure your fingers are together when you're doing this and sort of to the edge of the card so you have a lot of room to cover it all right so all you're doing is you're curling that the bottom half like that while covering it with the top half and what you're going to be doing make sure there's no gaps in the fingers if you're like this they can see it right make sure there's no gaps you're going to turn it over just like that and that is the turnover pass so i'm going to show you guys how to do that with the full deck so basically lift up wherever you want but it has to be in between the two jokers. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be anywhere in between the two jokers. So what I do is I just go ahead, find find a good place, just like that. Anywhere in the middle will work, all right? As long as it's in between the two jokers. So go ahead, lift up wherever, try to get around half, all right? And you're going to do the turnover pass. So here, you're going to push down, just like that, and it'll bring the cards like that. You're covering the move. Tilt your. I, I do recommend you tilt your hands a little bit forward. It does help cover the move a little bit. All right, so you're here, just like that. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, do this while covering it with the top half. Make sure there's no gaps in your fingers. Tilt it forward a little bit. You're going to take your index finger, and you're going to turn the rest of the cards on top, just like that. And that will cover the pass. So one more time, if you guys know any pass, you can do any pass. But I'm just teaching you guys the, the turnover pass. Go ahead, do this. And you're going to turn over the rest of the deck, just like that. And then you can reveal, you know, I guess the rest of the trick. So let's 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 continue. So once again, you do your pass. All right, you're looking fine. Doesn't really matter. One more time, you're just doing your pass. All right, one more time. 
just do the pass, go ahead, do the pass, bam, you're set. Now, when you're doing the pass, it just looks like you guys just turned over the deck, right? It doesn't have to be perfect, but the more, like, towards the middle you get, the better. So let's continue from here. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, you're going to be like, yeah, that's very interesting. And you're going to recap the trick. So you're going to recap from the beginning, you're going to say, I actually separated the cards and the red cards and black cards, all right? I actually took three red cards and I put them inside of the black pile. And you can go ahead and reveal that all the cards outside of the jokers are actually all red. All right. And then you can go ahead and show that the cards in between the jokers are actually all black. And they actually selected the only three red cards in between the jokers. So that is the trick, guys. And once again, I'll just quickly explain what the Hermit Pass does is it just switches the red cards and the black cards and that's the trick, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. And this is Card Shuffler. 9-9. Peace out.